My name is Srividya Santosh and I provide unbiased guidance when it comes to higher education, premium institutes, entrance examinations, etc. You're watching Career Guidance Q&A Part 9. Let's get on to the question. First question is from Jensen James and Jensen is asking about BSc Nautical Science course and its job opportunities. Jensen, BS in Nautical Science is a three-year program that you can do directly after you grade 12. It is mandatory that you should have taken a science stream with physics, chemistry and mathematics. Once you complete your Nautical Science program, you can become a deck cadet, a radio officer, a nautical surveyor, etc. There are so many things that you can get into. While studying this program, you will learn things like uh, marine engineering, uh, control systems, you learn voyage plan and collision, you will learn things which are related to maritime law, ship operation technology, etc. Always remember, when you take up things like nautical science, you will be working in areas which are related to, I mean, water bodies, seas, obviously, right? If you are not in a health condition to work or survive in such environments, please don't go ahead with these programs. But if you're healthy and you are good to go, there's nothing wrong. Please go ahead. Anasuya. Anasuya is a boy, botany graduate and she wants to know what are the job oriented courses after completing BSc botany. Okay. Anasuya. Whether it be Anasuya or anybody else, while you do a graduation program, you should understand whether you are interested in proceeding further with a studies related to what you are doing for your graduation or you want to switch to something else. So since you are doing your botany program, please think for yourself, are you really interested in botany or not? Are you? If S is the answer, then you should go ahead with courses wherein like you can learn a little bit deeper in the field of botany. Like you can go for an MSc botany, you can go for horticulture, you can go for forestry, you can go for microbiology, so many things, biotechnology, like that, okay? I cannot say that if you take up one of these courses, it is a 100% job guarantee. No. Getting a job always depends on your skill sets, on how you learn things, how you apply the things, and how you can explain about these things when you go for an interview. But these are few of the things that you can do after completing your BSc Botany if you're still interested in botany. If not, you can get into management studies. You can go for courses like MBA and specialize in something and go ahead like that. Or else, there are so many positions that you can apply with graduation when it comes to uh, governmental examinations. So look for examinations which ask for just graduation. May not be like specifically BSc Botany, any graduation, okay? You can go and write those examinations. Also, there are some specific things which will ask for uh, specialized graduation programs like a botany program. So you can also write those examinations and get into the different fields. These are the things that you can do. Nihala is planning to become a 3D architectural visualizer. So she's asking me what should she study after completing plus two. Uh, does everyone know who a 3D architectural visualizer is? If not, uh, just imagine that you are planning to build a house. If it was before 20, 25 years, it was all about going to a civil engineer and he drawing a plan for us and we approving the same and going ahead. But nowadays it is not that just by looking into a plan, a 2D drawing, we will not approve the whole thing. We also will ask for a, a 3D drawing or a 3D modeling of the entire thing. What is the 3D modeling of the entire thing? It is specifically something like we walking inside the house. We will get that experience. The entire visual thing is created according to what we have confirmed with the drawing. And then we get to see even the interiors. We get to see how the house looks like and then we can confirm. Now, how do we make that? That 3D visualization. That has been made by a 3D architectural visualizer. To do that, we need to learn certain softwares. 
things like 3D mats and stuff like that. There's so many things that you can do. If you learn an interior designing programs, many of these softwares are taught within the program. That is one option of doing it after plus two. Another thing is you can learn just this software. There are so many institutes which offer the programs which specializes in this software learning. So you can pick any software that you like and then learn the software and eventually become a uh, visualizer. Because when it comes to employment, the employer is gonna look into your technical skills. It is not like from where you have learned, which university it was, like how much marks did you earn, nothing like that. The employer will give you a task and will ask you to finish off the work within a given deadline. So if you could do that, then that's it. You will get the job. That's how you should go ahead. The question is from Kirtana Jagan. Ma'am, could you please give more information about the generic bachelor's degree which can be pursued after 12th by which a master's in food technology is possible? Also about the scope of getting a job with a degree in India and abroad. Kirtana, I had done a detailed video on BSc Food Technology and B.Tech Food Technology. If you have not watched that video yet, I have given that in the i button also in the description box. Please check that video. By the way, if you are planning to do a master's in food technology, it is not mandatory that you should do the same subject in bachelor's level too. The most generic degree that you can pursue would be B.Sc. Chemistry. So you can go for B.Sc. Chemistry right after 12 and for your master's, you can pursue a food technology program. And there are various job opportunities even if you do in India and abroad. I've talked about in detail in the other video, so please watch that. Question is from Gauri Pramod. Ma'am, would you please do a detailed video about LLB, its job opportunities, salary, can science students do LLB, what are the job opportunities in foreign countries, etc. Gauri, a science student can go for an LLB program right after completing your 12th. You can go for your BALLB or BSc LLB or BCom LLB. Uh, there is one uh, program in North India which is called a BTEC LLB. That is also possible. Now, why do we merge a BSc program or a BA program along with LLB? The answer is LLB can't be studied directly after 12th. So either you have to go for a three year degree program and then go for a three year LLB program, which will take six years for completion. So instead of that, if you go for an integrated program in five years, you can complete the law program. That is why most of the kids choose either a BA LLB or a BBA LLB or a BCom LLB and then they go ahead. It is not mandatory that you should have taken science or like humanities or commerce. Any stream for 12th grade is okay for pursuing an LLB program. After completing the LLB program, either you can get into practicing law, that is like going to a court and doing things like that. So that's like a practicing lawyer. The other option is you can get into MNCs. You can work as a corporate lawyer. And some of the students after completing the LLB program, they specialize in one or the other law, like a cyber law or a criminal law, something like that, and then go ahead in the career accordingly. That's another option. And nowadays, even to become a magistrate, earlier it, you had to have a lot many years of experience to, for getting into that position. Nowadays, just after completing your law program, you can write the examinations and if you clear the examinations, you get training and you will get posted. So directly you can get, uh, get on with those things also. But if your plan is to go to a foreign country, you should always understand that after studying law from India, you can't directly go to a foreign country and start practicing. You have to write certain examinations in that country and get a license or do a master degree in that country and then proceed. So just with a law degree from India, you can't practice in another country. And I cannot generically say that there is only one single examination that you have to write after LLB to go to any country and practice. No, it is not like that. The law of every country is different. So plan like which country you are planning to go and then accordingly uh, start preparing for the licensing examination and proceed. That's it. Sijo is asking about MSc Virology course. Sijo, Virology is actually a course which got very popular after Corona. 
the course was there earlier too but it was not that popular now even universities have come out with courses like bsc virology leave the case of msc virology bsc level also there are courses like virology once you complete uh, any medical related courses in your bachelor's level or even a virology course you are eligible to go ahead with an msc program in virology it's not mandatory that you should take a bsc virology for doing msc virology any life science program is enough for doing an msc course in virology what does a virologist do uh let's take an example whenever there is a viral attack okay for example corona didn't you see a lot of people coming out with statistics which are related to it hmm? saying that like today there were these many cases and if it goes like this these are the problems that can happen so somebody is interpreting this data right and also uh, people are trying to find the virus latency their replication strategies and things like that so these are the people who have done courses like virology they are virologists there are even people who complete mbbs and then does a masters in virology they are basically doctors since they have completed a mbbs program but you can also go for virology without doing an mbbs program but you will never be called as a doctor in that case you will be a virologist there are also virologists who are doctors too while doing a program in virology you will learn to interpret data from experiments also from the past history okay these are the things that a virologist do with the level of virus attacks that are happening in our country you know that like it, it there was corona there was a lot of variants like delta omicron so many things right so with all these things now a lot of virologists are getting appointed so if you are interested to work in these sort of fields you can go ahead don't think that like it is only about statistics no it is also about the science behind it here we come to an end of career guidance qa day part 9 if you have any further questions regarding your higher education or entrance examinations or any premium institutes please drop in your questions as comments below this video so that i can pick those questions and answer in the upcoming video see you